This is the first narrated video of polar coordinates. Feel free to request other videos if there are things that you want to see explained. Okay, in this first part we'll take and take a point in rectangular coordinates and we'll put it into polar coordinates. It helps to graph the point um, and, and you'll see why as we do this problem. So negative 2, 2 puts us right there. So what we need to do is to find the radius, that being the distance of this point from the origin, and also the angle that's subtended, theta. So r shouldn't be too bad. r is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's going to be the square root of 8, or 2 root 2. Now, the formula you'll see in the book is that theta equals the arctan of y over x. But you got to be careful with arctan. It doesn't always give you what you want. As uh, an aside here, if you look at the way arctan is plotted, so we can look at its domain in this range, this is arctan, and it only spits out numbers in between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now when you look back here, our angle is more than pi over 2. Arctan is not going to spit this out. If we look at it in particular, we have the arctan of 2 over minus 2, or equivalently, the arctan of minus 1. Okay. Now if you ask your calculator from arctan of minus 1, it's going to give you the equivalent of minus pi over 4. Well, that puts you down here. That's not where we are, though. That's why it's helpful to draw these. Rather, what we have to do is to know to add on pi radians to get our angle. So if you add pi radians to minus pi over 4, you'll get 3 pi over 4. And that's our theta. So altogether, finally, our point is root 2 over 2, uh, root 2, 2, uh, sorry, 2 comma, uh, let's start again, um, 2 times root 2, sorry, um, and our angle is 3 pi over 4. Now let's go ahead and do the reverse. Suppose we're starting with some um, point and we're going back and, and uh, converting it to uh, rectangular coordinates. So if we're starting with, say, minus 4 comma pi over 3, all right, now the convention with a negative radius is that whatever our angle is, this is on the other side. So this might be pi over 3. So what the negative radius means is that actually we're down here. So it's pi over 3, but down 1, 2, 3, 4 away in this direction. So it gives us this particular point here. It's a little tricky at first. So we can also think about this point using another set of radians. Um, we can say this is the equivalent of 4 pi over 3 plus pi, okay? which is 4 comma 4 pi over 3. So let's convert it back. So one thing we know is that the radius, which is 4, equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And now we also need to know uh, the angle, theta, which is, again, the arctan of y over x. Now, again, you need to be careful here, um, because when you put in 4 pi over 3, um, you know, either... Uh, the tangent of pi over 3 and the tangent of 4 pi over 3 are the same. Um, so it won't really matter um, going so much in this direction. So let's look at tangent at pi over 3. Again, it's the same as the tangent of 4 pi over 3 because it's the ratio, and sine and cosine are both positive here, and they're both negative here. So if you look at what you get here, um, pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, and... Um, cosine is 1 half, so this gives you root 3, and that's y over x. 
So now we can solve this. We have root 3 um, x equals y. All right. And we can um, go ahead and plug that in up here and uh, try to solve it. So we'll have 4 equals the square root of uh, x squared plus root 3x squared. We can square both sides, get 16 equals x squared plus 3x squared. That's 16 equals 4x squared. 4 equals x squared. Then we have plus or minus 2 equals x. Okay. So again, the picture helps. We have to make a decision. Which one is it? Well, it's minus 2. So there's minus 2. So we know from the picture. Okay, that being said, now we can find out what y is. All right? Because um, it's just minus 2 times root 3. So minus 2 times root 3 equals y. And there are our points. Minus 2, minus 2, root 3.